Hey Taurus, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Cross Watchers as well. Thank you for all joining me here today and um, I hope you've been really well. Welcome to all the new subscribers, there's been loads. Thanks so much guys for clicking the subscribe button. Make sure you do if you haven't already. So yeah, the message I got was the reason this person's not reaching out to you is because they want you to reach out to them, um, which I feel like is going to trigger quite a lot of people. <laughs> um, it's kind of annoying, you know. Um, now, I pulled a couple of cards just to get started for the thumbnail and stuff. Okay, so the first card that came out was the Ten of Wands. So um, I feel like there are a lot of burdens around this person at the moment, uh, but I also feel like uh, they may feel stuck just because they're so stubborn. Um, because I feel a couple of reasons why they want you to reach out first. Um, one, they could be in their ego a little bit, so they don't want to be the one to be seen to kind of break this stalemate and make the first move. You know, I feel like there is a bit of like an ego issue there. Um, <clears throat> also, just even being in your issue... Um, ego sorry out of fear um because it's like obviously if you reach out to them then they've got little to no chance of like being rejected you know whereas if they take the plunge to you first there's that chance that you're just gonna be like get lost or whatever okay um yeah so this is, we're gonna sort of delve into this and see what's going on I also pulled one of my own uh, cards that I'm making just now. Uh, these should be out available to purchase when I get them <laughs> published soon, guys. I talk about you to my friends and family all the time. Okay, so they may not be reaching out to you, but they're certainly doing a lot of talking about you. Um, and I feel like it's a good, um, in a good way, you know, I don't feel like they're running you down or like bitching about you or anything if like i'm hearing the words i'm so proud of you so they're actually doing quite a lot of bragging about you and it could be that they're asking their friends and family for advice about this situation too um because they're so kind of in their head about this and like what do i do like should i reach out first but i want them to and you know so i feel like they're doing a lot of um yeah just asking advice um also underneath that we've got to get so nervous around you so it's like they do they do really want to reach out to you by the way even if they're like oh i want you to do it first it doesn't stop them actually wanting to speak to you um but yeah they, they are really nervous to make a move so it's like oh it would just be so much easier if you reached out to me first you know um guys also what was i gonna say um obviously this is general so if you're looking for just a specific reading to you you can book personal reading with me as well the info's in the description box and make sure you're following me on um instagram and tiktok at queen diane 222 that's my only um like accounts on tiktok and instagram so i just don't want anyone to get scammed by these little scammers that have been going around recently um <laughs> also just a quick uh word about people like your person may be kind of spying and using fake accounts and things like that um i just feel there's a lot of these bots going around on social media at the moment um you know and it's supposed to be these bot accounts or people that you you know maybe are followed and unfold or you're blocked or something like that so they could be using low-key accounts to keep tabs on what you're doing and things like that um you know they want to know what's up with you and what they're missing out on as well i'm gonna get one more of these messages and then we'll get into some or yeah maybe we'll get into some heart oracles and some tarot i think And so bear with me, as I said, I've had a migraine this morning. It, I honestly, it's just, it's like, there's just too much in my head. So this is why I wanted to get this message out. So I may be a little bit like not on my game, you know, because not on my, like my, you know, being a hundred percent because I'm, you know, a bit ill. I cancel plans because my nerves get to the best of me or get the better of me, right? So I've already talked about the nerves here. Um, yeah, 
this is a really like annoying frustrating energy um hi lindy yeah uh, random live here um <sighs> I mean, this person may be nervous to talk to you because they keep letting you down with these plans. Um, and they get excited to see you and they kind of push themselves before they're ready, I feel like. So they make all these grand plans with you, right? Then they don't go through with it. And you're just like, what was that about? Because like, you may have not even suggested plans to them, but it's always there, but it's always them. It doesn't go through with it. Um, I feel like if this is resonating for you, then you're probably, I mean, we obviously try not to judge each other and stuff, but you're probably thinking this person's a little bit pathetic at times because you're like, why can't you just go through the plans? Um, but I feel, um, especially with them wanting you to reach out at the moment, it's, it's because... <laughs> They're so like embarrassed and um, ashamed, so they're they're kind of thinking, well, how can I, how can I really just message now? Like you may have had some really big plans with them as well, and they just didn't go through with it. And I mean, it could even be this is like this brick wall of ten of ones. It could even be just they're sincere when they make the plans. You know, they want want to go through with that, and it could even be like an anxiety thing that comes up for them and um they just can't quite go through with it okay so um don't don't take it in a bad way like you're not good enough or they're not bothered about speaking to you or seeing you or whatever you know it could it could really be like a mental health issue with this person and um, but yeah let's um oh i want to get into some heart articles first let's um get into their feelings I'm just really drawn to this friends and family thing today. Like I, I feel like they <clears throat> they do talk. I mean, I've, I've written it on the card all the time. It's like a lot they talk about you, and they're probably like saying stuff about you know how they've messed up and I don't know what to do. And do you think I should text or call or no, no, no? They're probably just gonna like shut me down. Probably really annoying people. <laughs> constantly talking about you. It's in the heart space here. See, I'm not quite like uh, on my best kind of reading today. I don't know, my head's really fuzzy guys, but anyway, I'll try my best for the collective. One day, someday, somewhere another time. Ugh. Honestly, um, this person I feel like is the biggest procrastinator ever as well. Which is really annoying, but it's like both of you kind of know you've had these obstacles. <laughs> Thanks, hi, Alyssa. You've had these obstacles, but you, you also kind of know, like, actually one day we're going to get this relationship off the ground or, you know, we're going to get the communication to a good place or what, however it resonates for you. It's like you kind of have that inner knowing. Um, and this, you know, this person does too. Hmm. And yeah, I feel like at times when they have thought, should I just push myself and should I reach out first, they're putting it off to like another day. Like, oh, maybe like tomorrow would be better or something. Just want to shout out to all my patrons as well. Like I know some are here just now. Thank you so much for supporting me on there. Like. As you know, YouTube's not really been circulating my videos um, since I've had a bit of a break and things at Christmas and, you know, I won't really go into that, but I was fine, you know, I was just taking a bit of time off and, you know, um, but yeah, obviously I had a lot of stress about a year ago, a lot of um, family, you know, problems and things like that, so... Uh, it's never really recovered for me, the algorithm, so I do appreciate when everyone, if you know, if you can't join Patreon, if you can't um, do anything like that, you know, if you just like and share the videos and subscribe, it really does help too. Um, but yeah, thank you guys. Heart song, see the inner knowing I was talking about, telepathy, intuition. <sighs> and... Like, as I said, I feel you both feel like this, but I'm looking into your person's energy, so I feel like it's more 
them as well, like, almost knowing that despite them messing up so much, <laughs> um, you're their person. You're the one they always talk, talk about. I don't even care if they're with someone else right now, like, no disrespect to whoever they're with, but you're the one that they talk about to their closest, to their nearest and dearest is you, not, not whoever may be around them, okay? Um, you know, it's like always having that, obviously the energy between the two of you, like that, that pull back to you as well, okay? Ooh. Literally. <laughs> Can we get more of a confirmation there? <laughs> One day, my heart, you know, um, I'll have like the inner strength to lead me back to my feminine, you know? Yeah, I feel like a lot of you are really exhausted with the whole thing. Um, obviously, like, I'm exhausted because I've not been well this morning, but it's like that sort of drained energy I feel like is appropriate for this reading. Um, okay, get one more. Oh, see that chemistry is still here. The passion. Uh, resentment, mm -hmm. stinging words, bitterness, anger. So, another reason why they could be scared to reach out. Okay, maybe there has been some really harsh words spoken between the two of you, or specifically from them to you. Um, you know, and they could be worried that you're still really angry with them. Um, you know, I feel like you've got every right to be angry with them. Okay, I get that. I totally get that. Um, and, you know, <laughs> it, anger is such a really hard to, emotion to let go of because you, you feel so betrayed and, you know, just just hard done by it, like stabbed in the back and everything. <sighs> if you do, you know, still want this person and things, it, you know, it's important to try and let go of that. I know it's difficult. Um, but, yeah, I feel like that's their fear coming up. Um, uh, yeah, ha have they said some things in the past where, like, you maybe don't want to hear from them? Like, I kind of feel some of them here, this group, um, they want you to reach out just to make sure, for, like, for sure that you actually want to talk to them, because some of them may be wondering, like, do they even want to hear from me? You know? So, I feel that's an issue as well. So, as I said, this reading could be you're in complete non-communication from this person or they're just being quiet for a bit, you know, you're just kind of, not like you're waiting around, but you're expecting communication from them and they're not been doing it. Maybe some of them have been ignoring you. Temperance, okay. Healing going on here. Healing the tension. It's quite appropriate this is underneath that one day, someday card because it's, it's the old divine timing around this. I don't, guys, I'm like, it's maybe just because I'm not feeling well. My hand's like shaking. <laughs> so I, I could be channeling this person's nerves as well. You know, we've got a lot about the nervousness um, so far here. Um, they could have even gone to call you and it's like they're shaking thinking about it, um, you know, and they, they, they just don't go through with it. It's also about patience too and you've probably had so much patience with this person and it's almost like you feel like they just keep letting you down. <laughs> well, we know who's shown up today. Feminine energy, divine masculine, emperor. All right, so they're working on this this emperor to, to heal them, basically. Spirits here. <sighs> yeah. I feel like working on their maturity. 
Um, you know, we're just trying to steer them into that divine masculine power. Okay, because obviously they can the two like the two of you can't be together until the two of you are stepping both like both into your power, you know. <sighs> so we've got Sagittarius and Aries energy here so far so fiery you know and that ten of wands as well like the um, the passion and everything it's i the word i'm hearing is dramatic like this this connection is dramatic <laughs> which can be a good and a bad thing you know um so yeah i mean there could have been quite fiery arguments with them some of you may have even sent them a, a message before um just Kind of like chewing them out a bit. <laughs> um, you know, like, what what are you playing at? And I just saw the Queen of Swords there as well. So it's almost like they feel your back is turned to them a little bit energetically. <laughs> More fire here. Six of Wands. Okay. Hmm. I feel like they're trying to get themselves together here, pull themselves together a little bit, um, so that they can come confidently towards you. You know, it's about victory, positive movement forward. They want that victory with you. They want to win you back. Um, I mean. I don't know if any other reader says this because I don't really watch anyone else's readings because I'm always so busy, but the Six of Wands always reminds me of like making a grand declaration and specifically like engagements, okay, with this with this ring here. So I feel like they have thought about that with you. Um Yeah. I feel like if they think if they were to marry anyone, you know, it would be you. Whoa. Okay, a lot spilling out here. We do have the Fool. This is the bottom of the deck energy, so someone's going to take this leap of faith. <laughs> someone's going to do it, right? I, I feel, even though they want you to reach out first, I feel like they might because, you know, we've got the Emperor here, the Tower, sudden unexpected change, you know, um, yeah, unexpectedly showing up. Uh, like, I don't know which is up. The Hangman as well. So it's, it's shaking them out of this, like, damn tree just being stuck, hanging up here. Like, just, we do something. <laughs> will you take some action? Will you just bite the bullet and do it, you know? <laughs> um, okay, well, you may, you may get rejected, but it's, it's worth taking the risk, you know? It's just, I feel like they, male or female, they, I feel like they just need to step into their masculine role a bit more, and masculine energy that like, takes charge here. Um, yeah. And we've got the King of Pentacles here showing up. So someone who is actually stable, um, grounded. They may work with money as well. Um, and yeah, someone who, like this is not someone flaky, okay? Um, because I feel this person's been so flaky with you in the past. Um, a lot to do with their nerves, obviously, but just like, Talking to you a lot, then disappearing, making plans and canceling, like, oh, really annoying, you know? <laughs> um, and yeah, like sort of once they, once they kind of step out of this energy of feeling stuck, okay, they're coming, coming through with more stability, okay? And that giant pentacle there, it could even be um, quite, quite kind of, Quickly, you know, they have an engagement ring for you. Um, I was going to say something else. Mm. Yeah, the hangman, you know, it's, it's all about like having a 
it, enlightenment and a different perspective on things too. Okay, so I don't want to be like hard on this person because everyone's got their own battles and and you know to really kind of manifest this person back into your life you have to you have to kind of look to the new story and think positively about them and what's going to happen in the future what you want to happen in the future and you've got to work on your self concept too you know we talk about the energy and things like that so like i don't want to be too harsh about this person but ugh. Yeah, they have really, the only word I'm hearing is annoying, guys. <laughs> I don't know if it's just because a lot of you are annoyed here. Um, yeah, okay, just just like a new approach to this. I'm going to get some of these messages here, but I reminisce a lot on the time spent with you. Um, that's what they're doing when they talk to their friends and family as well. Uh, it's just talking about all the good times you had and yeah you know they do think fondly of you Ooh. Hmm. I'm not blind to the signs I do see them so yeah that hanged man like more of this awareness going on um, and you know the tower is shaking them out of just, just almost like grabbing them by the shoulders and shaking them out of this um, feeling of being stuck, you know, and, um, and and not following through with things. It's like, look, come on, step into your king of pentacles energy. I just saw I was in denial there as well. Oh my God. And I was thinking about it again because I was thinking, oh, you know, King of Pentacles, husband material, like they want to be your husband and look what comes out here. I just kind of look all these confirmations in this reading. I've been thinking about proposing to you. <laughs> Which honestly may seem a bit mad because they can't even like get their act together to keep consistent healthy communication or um you know, for some of you, it's like you've not even really got to the relationship stage yet. Um, maybe you've only met them a few times. Maybe you've never met them. It was an online thing or something like that. Um, so, yeah, you may be thinking, like, what? As if they're going to be thinking about proposing. But they have since day one. One day, but day one even. They've had this inner knowing about the two of you. It's, you know, bizarre. I hope these are some good cards. I'm going to end soon, guys. I'm not sure how long my battery is going to last for. Hello, heart to heart conversations. <sighs> Honestly, discuss these feelings. So there, there is communication coming. All right. Um, even though my download was that they want you. It'd be easier for them, let's face it, it'd be easier for them if you reached out first, it would be. But despite that, I feel like they're going to push themselves to take the leap of faith. Okay, so you're going to get communication either way, you're going to talk to this person. And for a lot of you, I feel like it's actually face to face and forgiving and learning. You know, and this could just be forgiving themselves too. And you forgiving them. Um, you know, in order to, to move forward, you have to, at some point, you know, and, and release this <clears throat> so the two of you can heal. So you may be feeling that yourself around here, this healing, like purging and healing going on right now and just purging a lot of emotions and I feel like a lot of resentment about this person. Anger, resentment, and we've got anger here. Anger, bitterness. Some of you could be feeling quite bitter. Again, it's understandable, um, but it's, you know, for you to work through and release that. You don't want to be stuck in that, you know, because it's not, it's not good. Um, yeah, so you may be feeling that. Um, let's get, let's end on some moon oracles. So, yeah. 
You know what? It may feel a bit like a stalemate right now. This new beginning where someone just throws coughs into the wind, all right? As I said, I feel like it's his emperor. Woo! Oh my god! Okay. Confidence is your key to success. New Moon and Leo. A lot of fire around this reading. You could well be dealing with a Leo. Um, you know, it's about this person's gaining that inner confidence, you know. As I mentioned with the Emperor, okay, confidence to take that leap of faith and reach out. Um, and it may even be like you don't have the best conversation first with this person, you know, but it, it leads to the heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Look, it's not, you know, it might not be like one text or call or something and it's all hunky dory between the two of you but it's you've got to take that first step you know believe in the impossible so some of you may be feeling that i mean you may even be listening to me now and be like it's never gonna happen for me and you've got to believe in what you want guys and and i um i'm really into kind of manifesting like law of assumption and um even if you're not, well, especially if you're not seeing it in the 3D, you've got to almost like ignore the 3D. If there's anything bad that's going on and you, you don't acknowledge it, you know, you almost like you focus on yourself and your self-concept, who you are as a person. You've got to believe, look, I'm amazing. They always want to talk to me. You know, um, I'm always chosen. I'm their priority, whatever. Like, but, you know, think of yourself as I always say, like, as the prize. I'm the prize. You don't always have to, like, relate it to this person, you know. Um, and if anything, it's it's more important to just, um, yeah, work on your self-concept. But you can picture also with your person, like, what you want, what you want to happen. And the thing is, I get so many comments where people are like, oh, you know, this isn't for me. It's never going to happen for me. Uh, they'll never show up. They're, you know they're a piece of whatever, <laughs> don't want to swear, it's just constant like affirmations of the old version of this person that you don't want to show up or the, the old story. You've got to kind of, you know, stop like putting what you don't want to happen and think about what you want to do. So like, yeah, some of you are watching and like, it's impossible. You've got to be like, no, it's possible. If this is what you want, obviously. You know, if you want things back on track with this person, okay? Um, even as I said, if the first conversation may not go that well, you persist until you get what you want in anything in life. But, um, you know, in this situation too. So I'm going to end it here, guys. I hope it wasn't too rambly. My head's a bit scrambled. But I feel like this is a really powerful message, to be honest um so yeah share it with anyone you feel needs to hear this please do like it really helps youtube to start circulating my videos again i'm getting so sad about it Ugh. um subscribe if you're new 